The longest day in less than 300 pages told a story both panoramic and intimate. Never had there been a dawn like this, he wrote of June 6, and never had there been a World War II history quite like this, a book that opened and closed with the reader at the elbow of the senior German commander in Normandy, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel. And between appearances by Rommel, General Eisenhower, and a few other senior officers, the invasion was seen through the previously anonymous soldiers and civilians that Ryan called his kings. Bash on, bash on, a British sergeant off Sword Beach roars at his driver, but perhaps also at Ryan. The narrative paces headlong, with some chapters as short as three paragraphs, and the final few pages shifting scenes more than a dozen times. Ryan once declared, Quote, I am not actually writing about war. I use it only as a framework. I'm writing about the human spirit in the midst of war. Incredible courage, loyalty, hope, despair, and all too often ineptitude and bad management. Indeed, his great theme is the struggle for courage before and during combat. Yet he never suggests that valor is commonplace. And he does not write Victor's history. Allied soldiers die from the folly and miscalculation of their leaders as well as from German bullets. And he never took a reader's indulgence for granted. Quote, I need a cracklingly crisp first sentence that makes the reader want to go on to the next one, he explained. And by the end of the first paragraph, I've got to hook my reader or I am lost, and worse, I will have lost him. <laughs> 